I've been so incredibly busy this month that I haven't had time to sit down and mess around with my current household sim, Amy. So today we're making some time. Not only are we going to be giving her a makeover, we're also going to be introducing a brand new family member into our family tree. And later, we're going to be making Amy's new home in the town of Rockridge. Rockridge in Evergreen Harbor. So Rockridge, Evergreen Harbor. That sounds really strange, but you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later on because your girl has been utilizing the tool mod Something Fierce to the point where I was able to transform this part of Evergreen Harbor into an entirely new town. You have to see it, so make sure you stay tuned. First, we're going to be doing the makeover. So Amy, she's had this bob with the peekaboo highlights, peekaboo purple highlights for a long time now, and as she gets older, I feel like she should mess around with her style a little bit more. So I decided to play it safe and give her this beautiful ombre hair. I love the way that this looks on her. I don't know what it is. It just kind of like softens her look, but it still gives her a little bit of an edge. And speaking of edge, if you follow my current household, then you know Amy is edgy, she's grungy, she's everything in between. She doesn't really stay in one type of category when it comes to like her general aesthetic, and that's what I love about her. She's so fun to dress and play around with. Also, I decided to not only give her a little backpack for one of her outfits, which we'll talk about in a moment, but I gave her a new tattoo. It's the semicolon. If you go look up the semicolon symbol on Google, the, the meaning for it, you'll be like, you'll be like, what the heck? Like, that's kind of scary. Basically, it just, it, 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 a semicolon is used to indicate a pause in a sentence. It's often used when a sentence could have been continued, but it wasn't. Very much like her relationship with Alex. Like, it almost continued, but it didn't. And so I felt like that tattoo was very symbolic of that time in her life that she's still trying really hard to move on from. The backpack, I just decided to apply to one of her outfits because as you guys know she works as a tech guru she's constantly hauling electronics her laptop to the office and I needed her to have something to put it all in so I was nice and gave her a little backpack also I am kind of playing around with the idea of maybe enrolling her into university I have a personal vendetta okay a personal vendetta against Discover University because not one of my damn sims not a single freaking one has ever graduated <laughs> and it's sad it's so sad so I feel like Amy has the brains and the brawn to get it done. I just don't know if it's possible right now. She's many things. Like she is so smart. She is so goal oriented and driven. In fact, I want her to start like making her own apps. Like, you know, like maybe like phone apps or something and earning royalties from them. I feel like she would be very successful in that, but I haven't quite decided if that's what I'm going to do just yet. She is broke, y'all. Broke from buying this house, so we need to do something fast. But in terms of doing new things and, you know, kind of planting roots in a new town, Amy has recently taken up <laughs> martial arts. I found this mod. It's super cute, but basically what it does is it gives you the martial arts skill. It also gives you a trait that you can assign to your sims. And and then a couple new objects too. I think maybe just one actually where your sim can practice and obviously, uh, you know, earn or progress that skill further. And I'm thinking I might make a little martial arts studio in Rockridge. I haven't decided yet. You'll see what I'm talking about once we actually start building the home where I might be able to fit this, but it is using custom content. So I'm just like, I don't know, but this is my personal save. So like, why the heck not? You know what I mean? I feel like she's recently engaged in the martial arts to kind of help control her anger issues. Ever since her breakup with Alex, she's been through a whirlwind of emotions, highs and lows all over the place. You know, she's trying to just find herself, but also her job is so, 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 so time consuming and demanding that she doesn't have time to socialize. She actually finally just recently found a new friend or got a new friend. Her name is Mirza. She was in one of my later um, or my more recent mod showcases and they actually work together. And Mirza is so cute. I love her. So hopefully their relationship will blossom. Hell, maybe they'll even go to Marshall arts together i think that'd be super cute but in terms of like love life and stuff i think that's just on the back burner which is kind of weird for me because usually i always have my sims and like relationships but for the first time ever i'm i'm taking a pause i'm taking a little bit of a, a break from that and it's it's actually kind of it's kind of crazy so we are wrapping up amy's whole entire catalog we're going to be moving in to said family member which i have a whole backstory for i'm super excited to share a little more insight on not only amy's family but also provide more, you know, I guess, how would you say more? 
information on why Amy is the way that she is or more insight rather. So this is Song. Song is actually Amy's aunt. So we're going to dive into the backstory because anything and everything that you would want to know about her is essentially in that backstory. It says Amy's aunt Song lives in Mount Como. As a child, Amy and her aunt used to be very close. They would do everything together. In many ways, Song was the motherly figure Amy craved. When Amy's parents shipped her off to boarding school, or boarding school, her close connection with her beloved aunt started to diminish. In more recent years, Amy wonders how her aunt's doing and often thinks about reaching out. Song is a Mount Como native. She works at the local clinic as a nurse. She enjoys hiking on Mount Como's many trails, skiing, and considers herself to be quite active. Never having children herself, Song was ecstatic when she discovered that her sister was welcoming a little girl. Sadly, Amy's parents weren't as happy about the news as she was. Once Amy was born, they would often leave her with Song, and she would spend many sleepless nights caring for the little one, while simultaneously helping uphold the positive image of her parents, even turning down several opportunities to further her education just so she could be there for Amy. And when I read this, like, I kind of, like, when I read it, when I wrote it, I was, like, starting to get teary-eyed because, like, for me, when I'm creating backstories and stuff for my Sims, like, I just, I don't know how, like, I've always told you, I'm, like, Dr. Doolittle for Sims. <laughs> like, I'm, like, the Sim Whisperer. I don't know where these things come from, honestly, but I just try to, like, tap into the Sims' mind. Like, I'll create the Sim first, and then as I'm creating things, them their story almost tells itself and knowing how incredibly close Amy was to her aunt and how distant they are now just brought some tears to my eyes because as a child my mom was very involved but she was a single mom so she had to work a lot I had somebody that I almost considered like a motherly figure and for some reason that just just having you know song be that for amy it made me relive those emotions and feelings as i had as a child and then i started feeling sad for amy because now it makes sense why she was having so many issues with alex arguments the constant fighting the jealousy the fear of abandonment like it all makes sense now knowing a little more about her back history by no means am i giving her a pass on being toxic some of the things that she did and some of the things she even said to alex were honestly horrible but i'm just hoping moving forward she can learn from those mistakes Mistakes. And when she does decide to finally get into a new relationship, hopefully implement the things that she learned and move forward just being more healthy, just a healthy person overall. That's all that I could hope for, honestly. So anyways, we are just finishing up the last few outfits for Miss Song here. I am using it so much custom content because I find that when I am, you know, giving outfits to my older Sims, it's just so hard to find things in the existing catalog. I feel like a lot of the items I've already reused several, several times over, and I feel like a lot of the items that are coming out these days are just geared towards younger Sims, young, a younger audience in general. And I really do feel like we should have like clothes for our older Sims. Granted, I will say. I will say Growing Together did definitely introduce a lot of like really great assets for older Sims, but I mean, everybody has different styles, even if you're older, like sometimes you don't want like the flannel or, you know, the collared <laughs> shirt or whatever, you know, They're, everybody has different styles. So I just, I would like to see them expand on that um, maybe in the future. And I'm just telling you, I've been obsessed with these freaking sandals lately. I forgot what they're called. Uh, what are they called? They're not called, why, why, why would I say Doc Martens? I forgot what they're called. They're not Doc Martens. There's something else. I totally forgot what they were. I had it on the tip of my tongue, but I forgot, but I'm like obsessed with them. They are so freaking cute. I love those sandals. And then the last outfit here, I don't remember what I put on her, just something just to get it done. I'm not going to lie. Like I love her wardrobe, but by no means was I really like focusing on her clothes. I mean, I was to an extent, you know, some outfits more than others, but overall, I think she definitely came together quite nice. And then I set their relationship to distant because I mean, obviously everything that I, that I just told you, right? So hopefully Hopefully in future they'll reunite. I think that would be amazing. But right now, money is very tight, so I don't think that will be happening. So here we are in Rock Ridge. This is what I'm gonna name this little town. So I don't know if you guys can tell what part of Evergreen Harbor this is, but 
but it's definitely the more rundown area. I wanted to emphasize that a little bit, right? So what I did is I used tool and I went through live mode, live mode, and I found a bunch of shells, a bunch of building shells. And I decided to, you know, put them over the existing shell homes to kind of create this small town vibe. And the reason why I decided to do this is because when I was thinking of where I wanted Amy to move to, my heart was just set on like a city or a town but the thing is is we don't really have like a town town I mean we kind of do but it wasn't fitting the vision that I had for Amy's next move and so I wanted to again kind of create like this little small town vibe it's a little run down it's not like it's the worst area but it's not the best uh, you know best either and I don't know I really like what I did with the buildings and at night those structures actually illuminate so you'll see here a little bit later um what I'm talking about well maybe you will I don't know I don't know if I do like an time scene maybe possibly but you'll definitely see it in my next current household update i'll even talk more about how i transform this area but one of the things that i wanted to do is I wanted to split this lot up into two. So as you can see, I put down a shell. And the reason why I did this next to our actual lot is because I wanted the illusion that we had neighbors, but I didn't want the bill increase. And I didn't want that when I was playing in Amy's home, I could see inside our next door neighbor's home when nobody lived there. I always thought that was kind of weird. Like I don't mind when people use, you know, like these vacant shells and stuff for builds. I mean, you kind of have to do what you have to do, but I'm realizing now using tool mod and also using using the shells that are available in game, there is a way that you can kind of have your cake and eat it too. And it just kind of creates more immersion. Like I said, nothing takes me out of my element more than looking into my next door neighbor's home that doesn't live there <laughs> and uh, seeing like, you know, the furniture and stuff. It just, it's just weird to me. That's just my personal preference. So what I did is I decided to um, kind of base our home off of that home and the homes surrounding it. So this is going to be a two bathroom, two bedroom home, upstairs, downstairs. And even though this isn't where Amy is going to spend the rest of her life, at least it's big enough to where she could spend the next foreseeable future in it, right? So if she does ever have children, she has like a little office area or maybe she does make a home office where she can, you know, manage all of her, her apps and, you know, everything that she's getting herself into when it ter in terms of her career so I also wanted to create like a little like third level there's nothing up here <laughs> but it's the illusion of that third level that I really like and it just kind of ties it into the the home surrounding it and um, I even decorate the shell too it's crazy what you can do a tool but it's also crazy what you can just do in the game using you know um, using move objects like you're able to really make that shell look like it's a real home without again it being a real home so you'll see me later on I add a couple things to it that I added to Amy's home just to kind of tie it all together and I think it looks really 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 nice so I don't know if you guys can see um but off in the back there there's a blank field I'm thinking that is where I'm gonna add in more of like these <clears throat> little town buildings city buildings or whatever and then I think that's where I'm gonna put the martial arts center I haven't really decided last night I was toying around with a couple ideas like I wanted to do maybe like a concert venue um, I was thinking even like a little mom and pop um, restaurant or something that would be a great idea but I'm definitely thinking like the martial arts center is different but I just it's the whole CC thing like I love creating builds that don't you know use CC this doesn't by the way so if you want to download it on the gallery 10266 you can but I mean this is my personal save right so I should be able to do that sometimes I just feel guilty I feel guilty because I want everybody to enjoy you know what I build but I really do want to do like a little martial arts center so I'm creating like a little side porch I was going going to do an actual porch 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 but then I just I just it just looked too weird being so close to that fence and I also wanted to mimic the little door on the other shell looking back at it I think I should have put a little porch on the shell too because it looks weird that the door is leading to nowhere but if you if you look around at the surrounding shells in your neighborhood you're gonna notice that a lot of the shells are like bleeding into each other there's doors leading to nowhere and it's actually a freaking mess so I didn't feel bad when I was placing down these buildings that it wasn't perfectly lined up but let me tell you this build and what I've done to Evergreen Harbor has really inspired me to want to take on my own save. I'm just feeling so incredibly overwhelmed because there's 25 worlds to essentially I guess furnish or, or renovate or decorate whatever you whatever you want to say or however you want to say it and that is just it's a lot so I am thinking I might do a couple worlds and just release it very slowly 
I haven't decided, but when I do things like this, I'm like, oh my God, like I feel like a lot of people would enjoy my build. They would enjoy my world, uh, my world or my save rather is what I'm trying to get at. I'm getting distracted. Sorry, but I just, I just, I don't know. Give me some words of encouragement. I know you guys do it all the time. You're like, Jen, I want it. I want to save from you. I want to save from you. But y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I think, I think I might be able to make it happen. I don't know, we'll have to see. So I am adding in a couple more details to the exterior. I might've mentioned this already, but we're not furnishing this house just because I want Amy to furnish it realistically and slowly over time. I know this home isn't like, you know, the nicest house on the block by any means, but it's Amy's and she's proud of it. It also left her completely and utterly broke. I think after everything I, I had 500 simoleons and then I had to buy a blow mattress. So you might be sitting on like 300 simoleons right now. So I wasn't able to furnish it, but I know that I will be able to over time because Amy makes some serious, serious cash. Like she actually, she actually makes some really good money and I don't even think we have a computer or anything either. So I'm definitely struggling a little bit, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And I already mentioned this before, but I do want to do maybe like one video of just gameplay, you know, where you guys can kind of come along and play with me and just kind of see me go through that process. Not like an LP or anything, um, but just like a little gameplay session. I think that would be really fun. So I'm just decorating up the landscaping a little bit, I'm adding in like these bushes and grass, just trying to keep everything very cohesive when it comes to the landscape. And then I'm adding in some more trees just because I wanted this area of Rockridge to be very overgrown. And I don't know, I just really like green. So we're adding in some trees. I wanted to put the same one, so I just down sized a little bit with tool. I don't know if you guys saw, but I put in some like utility boxes and trash bins and things like that. All of these things are fully functional on the other lot there. Um, but I just wanted to add them in because I didn't want the shell just to be there. I wanted it to blend in as perfectly as I possibly could. I was going to put in this little, like this little park stop, but I don't know how that looks stupid, especially because the driveway kind of goes to the alleyway there. So I get rid of that, but I do have a little, a little park stop there at the end. And I am putting in chairs too. This part you aren't able to utilize, right? So if you wanted your sim to go and sit on those chairs, it's not going to happen just because it's a shell. But you know, I mean, again, it just, it's just, all about blending it in at this point so this home is pretty pretty small it really is but i love it it's very cozy it has nice you know high uh high ceilings and in this build we're going to be decorating the kitchen a little bit like light like if you were to move in type of decorating okay or furnishing so we're going to be doing the two bathrooms and i believe just the kitchen and so i'm just marking out how i want the, the layout to go upstairs we do have again um, a small little bedroom it's very very small so this could be like a children's room probably better suited to be an office and then there's two full-size bathrooms so one thing that i wasn't really worried about when it came to this build was placing windows aesthetically you know i i like the fact that with more realistic builds i can place it how it looks better inside than on the outside because you know like if you look at a real house those windows aren't like perfectly placed and every you know what i mean like they're just it's more for functionality than looks and and for some reason it just kind of all comes together. It adds character to the home when everything isn't necessarily perfect. You just kind of got to trust the process a little bit. I also laid down like the flooring and stuff. I was going to put it in a closet, but I decided to get rid of that because I thought maybe when the holidays come around, that would be a beautiful place to put like a Christmas tree or something. I thought that would be really nice. So I decided to get rid of the closet, even though I've been wanting to utilize the closet a little bit more. So we're just going into the bathrooms, laying down some tile. The color palette of the home is a little bit on the lighter side, nothing too crazy. I just wanted it to match the exterior. I'm big on that, you know? And then obviously if you guys did decide to download this lot and you wanted to renovate it, you're able to change and you know do whatever you want to it at, at that point it's yours go go at it <laughs> like you're not gonna hurt my feelings but anyways you guys <clears throat> my throat is getting so dry as you can probably tell i don't know you know let me just uh, one time for the one time let me take a little sip mm of my Starbucks here. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done at this point. There's really not a hell of a lot to do. I'm just, like I said, very lightly decorating like the, you know, the rooms that I mentioned previously. The only thing that I am adding in is toilet paper. It's kind of weird that the toilet paper roll has 
toilet paper on it. I wish there was just a way to like have it so it was just the holder and not the actual toilet paper so I could really give you guys the illusion that you're moving in. But I'm adding in all of the details, light switches, uh, air vents, you know, because there is like a central cooling system and heating system in here. So I am adding in all those lifelike properties and yeah, it's basically move-in ready. You just got to do all the heavy lifting. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and just playing around with my save. Let me know if you guys really do want to see it from me. I know that you guys do and I want to too. I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know how to go about it but if you have any advice maybe you've done your own save you've worked on your own save just let me know in the comments down below um i wouldn't be able to reuse anybody's lots obviously that's the thing so i would have to build it from scratch so if you have invite if you have advice advice in that regard i am more than happy to hear it anyways y'all <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the the sun does not shine and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.